Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh to everyone Especially to my panel today, Dr. Suhaiza My name is Putra Nazmin Farid B. Abdul Razak A final year student is going to present my research project titled Absorption and Photocatalytic Degradation of Green Synthesized Zinc Oxide with an Ionic Dye First of all, I would like to show my gratitude to my supervisor, Madara Biatul for all her guidance throughout this project and also to the Faculty of Chemical Engineering UITM for their facilities. Textile industry contributes to more than 20% of wastewater worldwide and this wastewater might affect the marine ecosystem and also as human ourselves. Photocatalytic degradation is a one method that can be used which is it's going to help to degrade the dye molecule into something that is less harmful. The study was done to compare the performance of the green synthesized zinc oxide with the commercial zinc oxide under the four different parameters which is the influence of the UV light, the pH of the solution, the catalyst dosage used and also the initial concentration of the dye. The purpose of the research is to compare the absorption and photocatalytic degradation performance of green synthesized zinc oxide and the commercial zinc oxide with metal orange dye, which is a type of an ionic dye. We also would like to study the effect of the UV light, the pH of the dye solution, the catalyst dosage used, and also the initial concentration of dye, whether the effect towards the photocatalytic performance. Okay, now we're going to proceed to the problem statement. This research was done to assess this problem. First, dye from the industrial caused major water pollution worldwide. Most of this dye, especially the artificial one, is highly toxic and harmful towards living things and it will cause an effect to the marine ecosystem and the best method to control this problem is by using the photocatalytic degradation process one of the most popular catalysts is the zinc oxide this is because zinc oxide has good chemical stability low cost and also low toxicity however while chemically producing zinc oxide some chemical reagent used are highly reactive and also slightly toxic. Therefore, a more eco-friendly and a green method to synthesizing oxide are needed. In this research, we're going to compare both of these catalysts. The scope of my research are shown here. Two types of catalysts used are the commercial zinc oxide and also the green synthesized zinc oxide under the effect of UV light and without UV light. The range of pH we're going to study is from 2 to 11, while the catalyst dosage we're going to use is from 0.2 gram to 1 gram. And lastly, the initial concentration that we're going to study is from 5 ppm to 25 ppm. Now I will proceed to the methodology. The MO dye with the specific concentration was prepared first. Then, 1 gram of commercial zinc oxide was added. The solution was stirred for 30 minutes in the dark. This is to get the equilibrium absorption desorption flux. After that, the solution will be exposed to the UV light for 120 minutes. And every specific interval, the sample was collected and analyzed by using a UV spectrophotometer. And from the absorbent value that we get, we can determine the concentration of the dye at a specific time. This process will be repeated by using the green synthesizing outside. And after that, it will be repeated again for the different type of parameter which is the pH, 
the catalyst dosage, and also the initial concentration of dye. The result for the experiment was illustrated in this graph. The result test for the exposure of the UV light, we can see from the exposure of the UV light, the percent degradation of the MO dye reached 22% for the commercial zinc oxide and also 3.3% for the green synthesizing oxide. However, the percent degradation becomes lower in the dark without the UV light. This is because the photocatalytic degradation only occurs when they are exposed to the UV light because the UV light helps with the photodegradation and the absorption process occurred with and without the UV light. This explains a slightly lower value of concentration in the dark. For the pH value, we can compute that the very best pH is 6 while the second one is 9. And for the catalyst dosage that we're going to use, 1 gram of catalyst has the best performance. And finally, for the best initial concentration of dye, it which is 5 ppm of MO dye. In a nutshell, we can say that the photocatalytic degradation requires a UV light for the degradation to happen. And without UV light, it might not happen. And the optimum condition for the zinc oxide with the MO dye under the effect of UV light is with the pH of 6, 1 gram of catalyst dosage, and 5 ppm of initial concentration of that. Last but not least, the result yields show that the performance of the commercial zinc oxide is better than the green synthesized zinc oxide. That's all from me today. Now we can proceed to the Q&A session. Thank you very much.